What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl CC here, back with another review. Thanks to the land, we have two new sets to review, and this time the brick sketches, yay. So we have the Iron Man one, it's set number 40535, and we have the Spider-Man one, 40536. I think these are pretty neat, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what I feel about them right after I see them in actual person, live and living color. First up, let's start with the good. We got the Iron Man one. Now, like I said, it's set number 40535. I really like how you have the arches on the side um, that the designers did. It gives it almost a 3D feel, makes it pop right out of the brick sketch, which I think is supposed to be mainly like a two dimensional piece of art or something like that, right? Uh, with a little bit of three dimension because I mean, it's real. It's not a mosaic. Uh, I think this is, is actually really nice. Of course, you have the back so that you could hang it up on the wall or you can put it up on the shelf. I usually put mine on the shelf, but I think for moving forward, I'm going to actually start hanging them on the wall just to kind of save some shelf space for things that, that can't actually be put on the wall. Uh, shelf space is limited and important in my home. The jaw is actually pretty nice and what's nice as well is that this one looks actually like Iron Man. The um, bust didn't really fit um, the bill I would say. It was a little bit weird. The jaw was a little too wide but I think they really captured the essence of Iron Man and a good image of him in brick sketch form. So I would definitely recommend you picking this up if you're a fan of Iron Man or a fan of Marvel, Lego sets in general, go ahead, grab this when you can. Moving on, we have the Spider-Man one, which I think everyone is assuming this is Miles Morales. However, I am not too convinced and that is because Amazing Spider-Man 252 black suit Spider-Man looks nearly identical to this one, if I do say so myself. There's no webbing on the brick sketch as well as on black suit Spider-Man. So that's why I'm guessing that maybe this isn't exactly Miles Morales. However, if it's supposed to be Miles Morales, um, I do like the hood. I think that makes sense. Where is the webbing? for the Spider-Man suit? That is an important question that I would like for Lego and the designers who made this set to answer to me and to the rest of the fans. It would have been so simple to just include stickers now, love them or hate them, be it as it may, it would have completed the look and made sure that people knew that this was Spider-Man. I think if you rent, went up to a random Marvel MCU loving normie, they wouldn't know who this was. They would say, mm, maybe Miles Morales, but that probably wouldn't be their first thought because they're like, oh, where's the webbing? What do you think, Mr. Cafe? Miles Morales. You would know this is Miles Morales? Yeah. He proved me wrong. It doesn't happen too often. But I think to make this even better, like it's not a bad brick sketch, but to make it better would have been stickers for webbing or simply printing little silver lines for the webbing. <laughs> there weren't any numbered bags in this set. There were no numbers. Uh, it was just all bags. There were three bags, one large, medium, and then a small one and you just open them all up and you build it. So simple as that, pretty quick to build, pretty easy, actually quite a fun build to be able to get the hoodie shape and the uh, strings for the hoodie. But I'm not gonna complain about this anymore. Would I recommend this? Mm, I think it's pretty cool. I think if you switched out some of the colors, you could actually get a Deadpool. Hopefully we get one in the future. I would love to see actually quite a few more Marvel characters in brick sketch form and art form. Just no more mechs. I don't think anybody wants any more mechs. Recommend the Iron Man. I'm on the fence for the Spider-Man. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. That's it for me. I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.